So these are the informations you have. You have particular house one as well as house two. Now gross annual value we have found out. Then we are have to minus municipal tax. Thirty percent standard deduction. How do we calculate? Like eighteen thousand insurance premium paid. No, we are not supposed to consider. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the tenth session of your topic called Income from House Property. Under Income from House Property, we have done almost all kinds of adjustment and all types of problems. Now, in today's session, we are concentrating as well as we are highlighting the part of interest. How do we calculate the interest part? If the previous year interest paid now, the current year interest paid now, all these kind of calculation we will discuss in today's session. So problems on your house property. Now under problems on house property, as I told you, we will discuss today the major topic called your interest portion. Now. Find the taxable income of Mr. Rahman from the house property for the assessment year 2020 as well as 2021. So these are the informations you have. You have particular house one as well as house two. Now annual value as per municipal assessment it is 18,000 as well as 36,000. Now. Reasonable expected rent. Reasonable expected rent in the sense fair rent. How much? Twenty six six forty as well as thirty four thousand five hundred and sixty. Similarly, we have rent actually received. Rent actually received. It is twenty eight thousand eight hundred. So these are the actually received. Now. Standard rent also it is given. What is the standard rent? The standard rent twenty five as well as thirty two. Both we consider as let out only. Why? Because you have received actual rent. If you have received rent in the sense, you cannot treat it as self occupied. You should go for what let out only. Now. Along with that, we have date of completion of construction. These are the things. Now. For this problem, the date of completion not required actually. Okay, now because they have not mentioned when it started construction. What is the rule? Earlier it was three years. Right now, within five years they are supposed to complete construction. Any interest taken, it has to be claimed when the construction completes within. Five years. If it exceeds five years, then you are not eligible to take any interest on that. Now, so we have local taxes paid during the year. Local taxes in the sense municipal tax. Now, we have earlier previous year and current previous year. I told you in the previous session itself. In case of municipal tax, even though it is paid previous or it paid for now, whatever it may be, if it is paid, consider. If it is paid by tenant, don't consider. That is the logic. For municipal tax, don't be in bias or confusion. The concept is very simple. Any municipal tax paid, we have to consider. Paid by whom? It must be paid by owner. Even though last ten years back you have not paid two thousand municipal tax, now you are paying that two thousand in current year. You are supposed to take that two thousand also. Why? Because in the municipal tax year is not important. Whether it is paid or not, that is important. It is paid. Yes, you have to consider now. We are supposed to take this your current previous year. Now in this, your earlier year and current year both together it is around ten thousand eight hundred is your municipal tax paid. Now insurance premium paid. As I told you in the house property, any expenses paid we will not consider. 
insurance premium paid no we are not supposed to consider rent of land paid no we will not consider anything other than as i told you one will be your interest one will be your municipal tax one will be the 30% standard deduction other than these three anything comes also you are not supposed to take land revenue outstanding not part of your income from house property then interest paid on loan on construction earlier year interest on due amount of earlier year previous year interest which one we should consider remember in case of interest the old interest we will not consider your previous year interest yes we will consider why because you are paying tax for previous year now earlier year don't consider your interest due amount for the earlier years don't consider for previous year even though it is paid are outstanding you should consider remember this 1 2 3 earlier year we will not take and your uh, old years outstanding we will not take but current year whether it is a paid or outstanding we are supposed to take what is the maximum limit if it is let out this is also let out property and this one also let out property we are supposed to take complete value again i'll repeat we are supposed to take complete value no limit it is unlimited clear yes it is unlimited now we have done with these things now i'll go to answer so what is the heading computation of income from house property computation of income from house property computation of income from house property for the assessment year what 2020 and 2021 how many houses we have we have house 1 as well as house 2 now first one will be your municipal tax and the second one fair rent now i'll come back to this whichever is higher now what is your municipal value the municipal value as per this 18000 as per this 36000 this will be 18000 and this will be 36000 hope you are clear yes now so whatever your fair rent fair rent in the sense reasonable expected rent we call it as fair rent we have 26 640 34 560 26 640 and 34560 34560 out of this out of this higher value higher value so it will be what 26 or 18,000 which one is higher 26,000 out of these two 36,000 are higher hope you are clear higher value is 26,640 and 36,000 we done with this then compare with your standard rent what is your standard rent like 25,200 32,400 again I will come back to this 25,200 and we have 32,400 so now compare this this will be what standard rent so this will be whichever is less so whichever is less in the sense we consider 25,200 and 32,400 this will be your lesser value we got lesser value 25,200 as well as 32,400 any doubt hope there is no doubt now we have done up to this what is the next one the next one will be will be 
your actual rent received actual rent received so what is your actual rent received i'll go for that actual rent in this yes rent actually received 28800 28800 28800 and 28800 hope you are clear yes this is all about your calculation now in this whichever is higher that will be your gross annual value higher is which one 28800 and 32400 out of this two 28800 is higher out of this two 32400 is higher hope you are clear yes now we have done with up to gross annual value now what is the next one actually gross annual value we have found out then we are have to minus municipal tax less less municipal tax municipal tax how much we have municipal tax in this paid for the current year and paid for the previous year both together it comes 10800 how much it is 10800 this one is 7200 10800 this is 7200 calculate this will be 18000 and this will be 25200 i'll cross check once so how much it is 28800 minus 10800 i got 18000 first one what about second one second one 32400 minus 7200 i got 25200 what is this this will be your net annual value hope you got what is your net annual value 18000 as well as 25200 now i'll go for the next one so your net annual value 18,000 and 25,200. Now, from this, you are supposed to minus what? Less. Less. First one, 30% standard deduction. 30% standard deduction. How do we calculate? Like 18,000 multiplied with 30%. And... 25,200 multiplied with 30%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we'll calculate this. 18,000 multiplied with 30%. I got 5,400. Similarly, 25,200. 25,200 into 30 by 100. It will be 7,560. So it will be how much? 7,560 less. Interest on loan. I'll go back to question. As I told you, interest of previous year, previous year in the sense, your preceding previous year, we will not consider. Interest of previous year in the sense where you are paying tax. Like, so previous year, even though it is outstanding, we are just supposed to take 4680 6240 4680 and the next one is 6240 6240 now minus both both we have to minus both we are supposed to minus now from this from this 18000 Minus 5400 minus 4680. I got 7920. 7920 is your answer. What about the last one? 
25,200 minus 7560 minus 6240. I got 11,400. Hope you are clear. This is all about your calculation. Now, so in this, this will be income from house property. Income from house property 7920 and your income from house property is 11,400. These are your answer. From 25 we have deducted these two. From 18,000 we have deducted these two. Your final answer 7920 as well as 11,400. What is the final value? The final value is add both plus 7920 I got 19,320 this will be your income from house property clear yes so we have done calculation like problem 15 these are the calculation we have done interest paid and everything is done and we have not considered whatever into marks I have done you are not supposed to take in any problem that's why I have mentioned into in that part now I'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot so this will be your agenda your problem number 15 and this will be your calculation this will be your final answer and the final answer is 19,320. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out the same problem without seeing answer. Have a good day.